Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel, Open Heart Healing. Um, and my name is Sarah Walsh. If you've watched my videos before, you might notice my voice sounds different. I sound like I swallowed a frog. Um, <clears throat> it's been a little while since I made a video and um, that's because I got very, very sick and uh, I almost died. So, but I did not die and I'm still here and I'm grateful for that. And um, yeah, that was a, that was an interesting experience to almost die and to, you know, face my own mortality. Um, yeah, I, I don't really wanna talk about that because it makes me emotional, but I have my Kleenex and I have my water just in case I need them. But I was just really excited. I really wanted to come back and do another video for you guys. Mostly I do them for myself because, you know, as you know, I've said before, they bring me joy. It brings me joy to get these messages and um, to connect with all of you, even though I don't know who most of you are. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I guess I'll just start shuffling the cards. I already pre, you know, shuffled like I do. Heard the energy of the cards. So let's just see what kind of messages we're gonna get. <coughs> Today is, I'm not sure what day it is anymore. I think it's September 17th, maybe. It seems like it's somewhere around there anyway. And um, yeah, it's almost the fall equinox in the Northern Hemisphere. I guess it's almost the spring equinox in the Southern Hemisphere, but I know most of you are in the Northern Hemisphere with me. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, the cards are getting all like turned around in here. That doesn't usually happen. Blast. Huh. So far we have the number 11 card and the number 22. Two master numbers. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope none of you have gotten sick. Um, I'm sure you can guess what it was that I was sick with. And then it turned into pneumonia, which is why it's taking a while for my lungs to come back full strength, but I have no doubt I'll make a full recovery. So... Some of you, I know, um, who are watching this, reached out to me knowing I was sick. And just want to say I really appreciate that a lot. I appreciate all the prayers and the good vibes and the love. And um, Reiki, somebody sent me Reiki. That was helpful. Um, it's taking a while to get this last card to come out. Come on. I want one more of these. How about number 33? Just kidding. I don't get, you don't get to request what card comes out. Well, I mean, you could try, right? Anything's possible. Anything is... Whoa, okay. This one. Ooh, close. 43. <clears throat> I'm going to do this one today. So. I feel different now. I mean, I sound different, obviously. But I feel something happened to me. I was very, very ill for two weeks. It was exactly two weeks. And there were times when I thought it was never going to end. And there were times when I thought I was going to die. There were times when I almost did die. But, I don't know. I'm different now. That experience changed me. I'm going to go, well, my higher self wants me to go live on Facebook today after this. 
to talk about my experience <clears throat> with almost dying and how it's changed me. But I really hate going live. I have no problem doing these videos recorded. But when I hit that live button, I just kind of freeze up, you know? I don't like it. It's not my thing, but I don't know. So I could just record a video and then upload it onto Facebook. I don't know why. Live, maybe, so I could get, like, some interaction. Because, you know, when I do record these videos, I don't get any interaction. I don't know who's going to be watching it or, you know, what anybody's comments will be ahead of time or whatever. All right. Two more of these. I'm feeling very warm. I had the fan on, but I turned it off because I didn't want it blowing my hair around and annoying me. But now I'm hot. It's so, you know, it's that time of year where it's like cool in the mornings and then it can get like really hot still in the afternoon. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't think it was supposed to get that warm today. I don't think it's that warm. Though, but I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. Just rambling while I'm trying to get the cards. Come on. Come on. Cards. Two more of these. This is, this is going to be like a really long video because it's going to take forever to be so much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me know in the comments if you want. Let me know how you've been. If you've been well. If you've had any transformational experiences lately. Because um, I've seen other people on social media. Um, a lot of them also got very sick, but some of them, it wasn't that they got sick, they just felt like they were going to die, though, so this kind of seems like a common theme with some people. It's like facing our mortality. All right. Now we got to get the tarot cards to come on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we got the death. The death and rebirth card. That's appropriate. <laughs> Spirit is funny, huh? Spirit was really quiet when I was... I call it the void. I was in the void when I was really sick. I was kind of floating in and out of consciousness. And I would have these crazy dreams. Intense dreams. Three major arcanas out of that one. Well. Oh. Oh, I tell you, I'm about ready to cut my hair off. I can't stand it. It's nuts. It's always in my way. It's always falling out. And like, just, oh. So don't be surprised if one of these times I show up here with shorter hair. <clears throat> okay. Well, that was fast. Good. Because the other one's forever. Okay, let's see. I'll show you the cards. So this is the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, and we are number 11 by the book. And we got number 22, Blessed. Trying to reduce the glare for you. These cards are very shiny, but I love them. And number 43, Deep Knowing. And then this is the um, Spirit Animal Oracle, number 46, Peacock Spirit, Let It Shine. Let it shine. And we got number 15, Cow Spirit, The Miracles Are Endless. And number 66, which I believe is the last card in this deck, White Raven Spirit, Trust in the Magic. And then, 
I was going to put this down more for you so you can kind of see them still, maybe. Anyway, okay, and then this is the Light Seer Tarot, number 13, Death and Rebirth. In this card, or in this deck, it's called Death and Rebirth. Most decks, it's just death, but <clears throat> it always, always symbolizes a death and rebirth. Anyway, but. and then we have number zero. All of these from this deck are the major arcana, like I said. Uh, we got number zero, the Fool. First card of the deck. First major arcana card. Symbolizes new beginnings. New beginnings. And then we got number nine, the Hermit. This is a Virgo card. The Fool is an Aries card, and the Death card is a Scorpio card. I felt compelled to say that. And then um, the traditional Rider Waite Tarot, we got the Two of Swords. And we got the King of Swords. Uh, I saw 11 11 and this is an Aquarius card all right and then um, number seven card the chariot this is a cancer card so we got Scorpio Aries Virgo Aquarius cancer I don't know what the two of the swords is it, that would have a sign also but I don't know what it is Okay, so let's see. Show you all the cards. Let's see what kind of messages I can get. So, I'm being reminded of this by the book card is telling me that sometimes our soul writes things into our contract for this life that are not pleasant things to experience, such as the experience I just went through. Um, but it's part of the plan for our soul's evolution. It's part of our journey. Um, we have to go through difficult things sometimes to learn certain lessons. And um, yeah, I guess that's the message there. So if you're going through a difficult time right now or if you find yourself going through a difficult time soon, um, just know that it's part of your plan and, uh, you know, you're the one who scripted it before you came here. And that has a purpose. Like when I was in those two weeks when I was in what I call the void and uh, couldn't hear my guides, couldn't hear, I called out to Jesus numerous times for help to heal me or whatever. And I, I got nothing. I didn't hear anything. I couldn't hear him. I couldn't see him. He didn't seem to be helping me. Uh, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know why. Um, I felt like I was abandoned. Even though I know I can never be abandoned. But, I, you know, I, I knew there was a reason. But I, I didn't know what the reason was. I was just suffering. And I was in this place where I didn't know how long it was going to last, or if I was going to make it through. And, um, yeah, but I knew it was for a reason, even when I was, couldn't figure out what the reason was. And I couldn't hear any guidance, and I couldn't, oh, it was, it was this terrible, it was this terrible in-between place. Um, it wasn't, I don't know. But I figured there was a reason, I just couldn't see it when I was in it. It was only once I came out the other side that I was able to see it. <clears throat> and, um, and that's how it often is when we go through difficult, challenging times. We often can't understand why 
why do we have to experience this? Or why is this happening to us? It's hard to see the silver lining sometimes when you're in, when you're in that place. But just know that there's, there is always a silver lining. There's always a reason for it. It's always served some kind of purpose. So, and um, if you can't see it when you're in it and you can't see it right away, that's okay. Just, just um, have faith. Have faith that, that uh, you will be shown the silver lining and the lesson in the right time. Then we got the miracles are endless and trust in the magic. It's a lot of, and um, blessed. This is, uh, this is really how I'm, how I'm feeling since I've, since I survived and, um, I didn't die. I feel very blessed. And I didn't expect, I didn't expect to feel this way. If I made it through, I didn't expect to feel grateful for that, <clears throat> which sounds terrible maybe, but, um, but I did. I just naturally did. I just felt like every, gosh, I'm so emotional. Every moment is a blessing. Every breath is a blessing. And, you know, we can make this life anything we want. It's all, it's all up to us. And the miracles are endless. And trust in the magic. And that, you know, spirit will help you to create the life that you want to create. This hermit is reminding me of uh, like my my two weeks in the void. It was a very hermit energy, right? It's like very much like just going inward. And uh, yeah, just oh, being alone, being alone. And um, And these readings always end up being kind of for me. But, but you know, this is kind of, this was me when I was in the void. You know, like my heart, I couldn't open it. I was like blindfolded, I couldn't see, I couldn't see. I couldn't see, I couldn't hear, I couldn't feel anything but pain. I couldn't, I couldn't hear any guidance. I, tr I tried opening my heart. Because I'm, you know, I'm always going on about that, about how you know important it is to open your heart and live with it. Open heart. And I couldn't even open my heart. I couldn't do anything. But I feel like since I made it through, that this is a new beginning now. It's time for a new beginning. So this isn't just for me. This is for other people. Like I said, I saw other people on. on Facebook and social media who also got very sick and um, probably similar to what I experienced and then other people who just like felt like they were gonna die for some reason they just felt like it and yeah when you come through the other side of that you're just grateful is grateful and here we have the peacock spirit let it shine so this is giving the message that this is what we need to do <clears throat> we all just need to cultivate our own light inside of ourselves inside of our heart and to just shine it out into the world that's what the world needs that's how we can have the most positive impact on the world is just being ourselves 
and showing that to the world, not hiding it, but letting, letting it shine for everyone to see and for everyone to feel. I don't know this King of Swords. He's so serious, isn't he? This King of Swords is very serious. Maybe that's the message of, like, don't they take things so seriously? Like if there's bad things happening in the world or in your life, you know, try not to focus so much on that. Try to step back and see the bigger picture. Try to keep your sense of humor. Try to keep your light shining strong. Getting this is a strange, strange message. I don't even know what this is, but it looks like a top to me, like a toy, like a, like a dreidel type of thing. Uh, never used a dreidel, but um, so I was. This is giving me the message to play. It's time to play. Maybe and and combined with the King of Swords here, who is Mr. Serious, Mr. Serious, Mr. Like overthinking, overanalyzing, logical, like. No time for fun. This guy looks like he doesn't have any time for fun. And then this, so this one is combined with this card is telling me that it's time to stop being so serious and start playing a little more, start having a little more fun. This, his outfit here too also has these like symbols on it and they're reminding me of light codes, light language. Some people, um, some of you may know that I speak light language. Other people write light language. They get symbols that they write down and this kind of reminds me of that. So this is telling me that there are a lot of light codes coming in right now to the earth. And um, depending on your own individual frequency will determine like how much of it you absorb or how it affects you. Um, so I guess let's just be aware of that. Try to keep your channel clear and you try to keep yourself open to receiving the codes and the upgrades. Yeah, this is a time of transformation. A lot of people are going through individual transformations and then collectively that energy, all the individuals who are going through it, like, for, like, you know, we're part of the collective. So then it kind of creates a collective energy of this transformation. So this must be why a lot of us are going through this experience lately. The difficult facing our mortality, thinking we're going to die. Must, um, be reflected to the collective as well for and there's a reason for that obviously even if we don't fully understand what that reason is but we know that the world is changing right we're in the midst of um, a great awakening on the planet and we're blessed just to remind us that we're blessed to be here for this transformation. We're blessed to be in a human body on the earth plane at this time. And um, that's I kind of lost touch with that before I got sick. And then um, going through my illness and facing my mortality and, and coming back and healing and... Um, still being here, it, that's what it reminded me of. Reminded me that I'm so blessed and lucky to be here, to experience this, even though sometimes it sucks. And sometimes it's painful and sometimes there are big challenges and difficulties. But even still, it's a blessing. 
All of it's a blessing. Even the difficulties are a blessing. Even though when you're going through it, it's hard to see it that way. Again, like I said before, you know, it's hard to see the silver lining sometimes when you're in the midst of the difficulty, but eventually you will see a silver lining and you will see that there's a reason for it and that it helped your soul grow in some way. Yeah, so just stay open to the magic. Stay open to the miracles. You can create miracles. And, um, Just, if you ever don't know what to do, just go into your heart. Go inside for the answers. All the answers that you need are inside of you. You never need to look outside of yourself for answers. I mean, sometimes you can find things that are helpful to you on your journey outside of yourself, like books or people can help you. But um, ultimately, you have all the answers you need inside of you. Even if you can't get the answers right away, like when I was in the void, and I couldn't hear any guidance and I couldn't open my heart and I couldn't really do anything. I still, I knew eventually, like, well, as long as I survived, I knew eventually that I would come back, be able to come back to that place of being able to open my heart and go inside and hear the guidance. And I have, it has slowly been coming back since I've been getting better about a week now that I've been getting better and I still sound like this so it's gonna, you know it's pretty serious but I'm very grateful and blessed to be here still um, and it helped me remember that I'm how blessed and lucky I am to be here still so yeah I was excited to be able to come back and do another video I was gonna do one on Monday but my eyes were all for two days my eyes were like really puffy like I didn't even look like myself and I thought I can't do a video where I don't look like myself or sound like myself <laughs> so I had to wait a little bit I had to be patient and that was fine so I finally got a chance now today to do this video for you and um, it's not very long I guess but short but sweet I guess I don't know Kind of all I was relating to my experience. Anyway, okay, this is really, <clears throat> I just noticed this about this card. It's like Peacock has like an opening in its throat and this light's coming out. So that's telling me like throat chakra because blue is the throat chakra color. So, <clears throat> and as you can hear, I'm having some thro <laughs> throat chakra issues myself from my illness. <clears throat> so, maybe work on your throat chakra if you need to. Um, you can listen to meditations, throat chakra meditations. You can look that up. You can use blue stones, especially on your, you know, around your throat. When you're, like, wearing a necklace or something is good. And just speak your truth. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. Like, This world is so divisive right now. I mean, it always has been, but it's very much more now with everything that's going on in the world. And there's such duality and pol polarity, like the divide between this group of people and this group of people and separating people. And um, it's made a lot of people afraid to speak their truth. Um, because they don't want to be attacked for it. But you can speak your truth. If you speak your truth through your heart with love, then you are a lot less likely to be attacked because how can anyone attack love if it's coming from a place of love? So I guess this message is for somebody who maybe is afraid, has been afraid to speak up or say something about whatever. Um... Don't be afraid to speak up and speak your truth. Just do it with love. Do it with an open heart. And um, yeah, I found that that kind of keeps the negativity and the, the fighting energy at bay. Yeah, so I guess I 
Got my message. Yeah, I guess that's it for today for these cards, messages. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you got at least one message that was helpful, useful to you. And um, I'm glad to be back with you all, or st still be here with you all, I guess. But I felt like a little, you know, hiatus there that I was on. And I'm back. And so, yeah, I love you all, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.